Greetings, Algo Artisans. It is Saturday, and we are going to do a quick look at a few coins. We'll start with Bitcoin, and we're going to look at Radium, Ape with Hat, Jupiter, and a couple others. So let's go ahead and jump into the charts right now. Okay, quick look at Bitcoin, and then we're going to jump over to Radium and Jupiter because I think they have a bright future. Bitcoin itself is in the middle of a pullback, and the question is, are we going to see one of those 20 to 30% pre-having pullbacks? The halving is coming in about a month, roughly, so there's plenty of time to see price go down. Now, how far down has it gone? Has it gone 20 to 30%? It has not done that yet. We're going to see what it has done. I believe the number is 11, if memory serves, and the number is 11%, almost to the to the tip. Of course, I already saw that. I knew it. I know the future. I do not know the future. If I knew the future, I would be rich. All right, so let's take a look here at what might happen. Um, these lines that you see right there are liquidity nodes. Okay, now that was liquidity as of a, actually yesterday. So, uh, you know, this could have changed slightly, but I have been monitoring these and these have been sticking. They have been sticking. So press dropped through these two liquidity zones that were already there. And we called that out before it happened. Um, of course, you know, I wasn't sure if price would drop for sure, but I did know that if price were to reject, it would go down and grab probably those two zones that you saw it already go down and grab, and it did so like clockwork the day that I said it might happen. So the next spots to look at are going to be around this 63,000 zone, which makes a lot of sense because you do have this consolidation back here on the way up where liquidity would have gathered, and then there was liquidity sitting here at about 57,000 where you see price make kind of a blip right there, and then of course down at 51,000 in this consolidation zone right there. Now, uh, the amount of drop that would occur for each one of these would be 15%, really 14 and a half for 63,000. And then to go down to 57,000 would be a 22% drop. And then to head down to 51,000, a 30% drop. That's your 20 to 30% zone if price were to go down. And it may not, but if it did, that is probably where we would see it go. And then of course there is more liquidity down at 46, 45,000, more like 46, that takes us to about 38%. So those are some areas Bitcoin could drop to. And if it does, it really depends how Bitcoin might drop. If it drops hard, a lot of alts might take a hit. If it does not drop hard, alts might might run and so far we are seeing alts run and we're going to take a look at Salon here in a minute but I do want to get right into Radium. Now Radium is a coin I think actually will continue to do well. It spiked up, it really got the attention of a lot of people in the last uh, 24 hours or, or so. So let's go ahead and look at this. Now this is on the three hour chart. Radium uh, has spiked up before. It was a great coin to get as so many were back in quarter three, quarter four of last year when Radium was down at the 20 cent level. Then it pretty much made it times 10 at the end of the year. Uh, it did go ahead and take a break and head down at that time to the 86 cent uh, level. But once Bitcoin really started to uh, come into its own, we saw Radium spike back up and make it all the way up and stop at about 280. Now, do we think that price will do as it did before where it spiked up hard, made a retracement to some liquidity and then make its way up? Or could it simply do a quick pullback and up after that? Well, the answer is either could happen. So let's go ahead and look at either of those scenarios and what they look like, okay? So first of all, I'm going to do um, a Fibonacci extension, and I'm going to do this on a higher time frame to take a lot of the noise off the chart. Okay, so this is your 18-hour chart, basically a day's price action per candle, and if we were to go back and take a look at what happened here, we see price came down, and I'm going to go to the bottom of the move prior to the move up, and we're going to go ahead and map that out as an extension for a Fibonacci. First of all, we have some Fibonacci numbers, and I don't want to rely on those strictly. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at some volume nodes as well. Do an aggregate. It seems like there's probably more volume just below the 618. So I would say that, of course, if radium is bullish, it may never come down to touch any of these. If it's hyper bullish, radium might just, just continue up. So it's always possible, but some likely areas for price to come down to for volume metrics are going to be 142 and 120. Now, if we were to front run those with Fibonacci numbers, we could take a look at just simply buying right at the 618 or the 786. So these are all 
all some pretty valid points. Uh, you know, an interesting zone, a zone of interest for me, if that's mind you, if radium does not simply continue up. Now, this wick does have me thinking that radium might go ahead and head down. Uh, price within a single day moved up from dollar sixty-five all the way up to two eighty. Okay, that's huge. That's like uh, I don't know, sixty-five percent a day, or something. It's, and that's just like head math estimation. So usually when you see price get crammed down like that, price gets sold off like that, there's a pretty good chance it will, um, you know, kind of relax and head down anywhere in this zone. We'll just, and then head back up again. You know, that would, and now it might not bounce up like this. It might actually just kind of continue like this and then head up, right? We don't know exactly, no one knows the future and we don't know exactly how this will go, but the past does kind of give us some clues where price did make its way down and then pop back up. Now I'm showing a bit shorter of a prediction on this because we're in the bull market now, right? Now, not that we were not in the bull market before, but now we are heading into the halving and its full swing. The halving might slow things down. It's actually quite possible the halving itself and that the way that things behave in the halving might stretch this out, right? So I would say if I were being patient and I was just kind of I were setting up my traps, I might look for the move to take a little bit longer. However, if these are areas of interest to me, right, and I have patient capital, I might not worry about waiting, you know, for just the perfect move or, you know, waiting to tie up capital for a month. I might just buy at those areas and let it go. You know, there, there are coins I do that with. And over at Algo Factory, we know which ones those are. So that's what I see most likely happening with Radium. However, it could simply continue up. And as the next couple of days wear on, I'm going to have an eye on Radium to see if there's a possibility of either a, a softer landing where it doesn't quite go down as far and just continues up, or if it just simply mobs up from here. So I will keep an eye out for that, but most likely I do see this retracement into the $1.40-ish range. Okay, let's look at Jupiter. Now, Radium and Jupiter are both, and essentially they're decentralized exchange tokens without really getting into the details of that. Um, now, I drew this yesterday. You can see this parabolic look that I drew yesterday. So I did, you know, show that this is parabolic and this is going to continue up. And there really is not a whole lot of history on which we can rely to see what Jupiter might do. Jupiter may just continue to go up. The parabolic nature of this is seems to be even more so than I had drawn just a day ago. So, you know, but at some point, these things do tend to come back down to Earth. We're just, we just really haven't seen it yet. I could buy some Jupiter. I, I am very confident that it will be probably a higher price in two or three months than it is right now from that just a bull market standpoint, but I would like to get a good price if I could. So if Jupiter were able to retrace and make it back down, perhaps we could do that. Um, of course, you know, there's always the 382 pullbacks that I like to uh, like to do here. Uh, so it's basically at 382 just below it right now. Uh, the algos, I might look for this to come down to maybe the 618. Now the most sense would be is if this came down to grab liquidity below the 786 because you can see this price action right here. You can see how uh, there was a little bit of churn CHUR in right in this area. So it might be that a price comes down to the dollar range and that's a psychological number as well. So I may keep an eye out for Jupiter to come down to a dollar or so or at least approach that. Thing is we're in the bull market and we never, never depend on getting the entries that we want because everybody else wants that same entry and it tends to get front run. So even though I like a dollar, it may be that we see price and then continue up. Um, with this move being so strong and less Jupiter is really, really, really super bullish, then we should expect to see some kind of consolidation and then a move up. So I will have my eye on those. Okay, so let's go ahead and move over to Ape with Hat. Now, Ape with Hat is uh, definitely something that people are looking at. People think it's the next Dog with Hat. Uh, market cap is actually pretty low on that. Ape with Hat is mostly going to be available for charting sitting right here on Coin Market Cap. A pretty new coin. Um, it's had a lot of attention in the last few days. And you can see going back to just a few days ago, it was really in a very, very low point. I mean, we're, uh, five, six, seven zeros, and then it made its way all the way up for five, six, zero range, right? So, you know, we're talking about uh, orders of magnitude here, right? And now it has retraced. Mind you, this is a meme coin. Okay, so I'm not big on meme coins, but I do know that people want to see what's going on with Ape with Hat. Biggest baseline I can see on this chart where price might go back down to, what makes the most sense is back here prior to this big move up. It may never make it down there, but I think the best value if I were going to play meme coins is this 5161 price. That's where I would, you know, see that as a good idea. And that is uh, what seven zeros and then a 5161. Okay, 
So as far as Ape with Hat is concerned, I probably wouldn't be terribly interested in that uh, until we see price reach that level. But I know everybody's looking at Ape with Hat. It's like a big, big talk conversation right now. And we're just not at an area where, I mean, look, here's the thing about it. It's a meme coin, right? It's pure gambling, if you ask me. But if I were playing that game and I really thought this was going to continue and this current price is not bad, but ideally um, we could see a better, better price than that. You know, Ape with Hat, personally staying away from that, but uh, not hating. I mean, if you can make a bunch of money with that, hey man, it's all about making money. However you make your money, none of my business, as long as you're not breaking laws. Uh, I think uh, Radium Jupiter really, really, I, I like exchange coins. You know I like exchange coins. I talk about this all the time. I think they are probably the most likely coins to do well. So uh, Jupiter and Radium, pretty solid on both of those. Uh, probably swipe up some bags if I can get a nice entry and hold them through the next uh, several months and see how they do. All right, come on over to algofactory.tech where you can see what I'm doing. You can see the coins I like. It's not investment advice. None of what we say is, but I do talk about the coins that I buy, when I buy them, at what price I buy them. And I also show people how to build their own trading plan, their own trading method, otherwise known as an algorithm. And we extract money out of the markets, uh, oftentimes daily, oftentimes weekly, and definitely monthly. Um, you know, nothing's guaranteed, but that's usually how it goes. We're over at algofactor.tech. Come on over, trade your job, upgrade your life. See you on the next one.